Okay, let's talk about tire pressures. Let's start by going through solo practice and we can show you the difference between different pressures and how to go about setting them up. Tire pressures are absolutely critical to set up. Um, they determine how much grip you have and the balance of the tire pressures can make a huge difference, especially depending on the, the temperature and the uh, humidity and the pressure. So, the air pressure that is. So this is critical. So let's just go through um, testing now. There's Super GT. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for helping with the grip. The green bars there on the right hand side show you the grip level there. Um, not the grip level. Show, the, show you the pressure level um, that is optimum. So what we're going to do is do a few runs around the track starting with the, the st standard default settings and then we're going to adjust them just to see how we get on. Okay, this is the test track here. It's a pretty good track because it's easy to go around and just set things up. Um, obviously hitting, hitting the, uh, the racing line where we can. And what we're looking for is how the cart's handling. Is it pushing at the front? Is it gripping at the front and loose at the rear? This corner is quite a good tell. How's it going around? We'll see we're sliding off there. That's not great. So one of the things we might want to do when we notice that is going to have a proper run and see what the tire pressures are now with a full flying lap. There you are. We're not very tight to the corner there, but we've got some good speed on the exit. And through here, what we're looking for is how's the front handling? Oh, it's not pulling in very well and we've run wide and slid off there on the, on the grass. So what we know immediately is that there's no grip on the front of this tire pressure. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap the button, the, the wrench button and the spanner button on the right hand side and then adjust the front pressures down. And then the rear pressures and we're doing them balanced this time. Somewhere in that green zone there that the uh, that Super GT is recommending for us. Okay, let's go and have another run and see what we did. The last lap was 24 seconds just above, so let's walk, see what we can do on the next flying lap. So we'll have to go around half a lap and just give it a go and see how that feels. And then probably the best thing to do is go for a flying lap and see if that's an improvement. Okay, still running wide there. Still running wide, that's not helped, and we've hit the wall. So, tire pressure still don't seem to be that good at the moment. We're not getting quite enough grip that we want, but let's give it a flying lap and see what we can do. Bear in mind we haven't had full speed going through the start finish line this time. Okay, following the racing line, going a bit wider here to see if we can pull a cart around there, that's better. And still running wide a little bit but not too bad. It's and that's a 122.2. Not bad, not bad. We think we can do it better, thank you Nico. Okay, so the best lap was a 22.2. And what I would do if we we're going to go setting up tire pressures is go back into the test track again with the with the same tires we're using the Maxxis Greens, remember, and try again. So we're going to go back to solo here, back to the test track. See, we did a 22.2 there. Choose our Maxxis Greens. There's not much wear on them. We're going to keep it the same then fuel levels better. Remember as the fuel level drops um, we're obviously going to do a better, better, better performance. Tire pressure is there at 15.2 and 15.2 and we can look across to see some of the other settings as well um, but the relevant number there is 15.2. So we're back at the test track. Weather conditions are exactly the same. We're going to adjust the tire pressures now. I'm going to drop them slightly to see if that gives us a bit more grip because we're a bit, we're a bit um, struggling with the front end. We've gone 14.5 and actually 14.5 on both. So this is a good way to try and set up. Go test both the front and the rear first and then we can adjust from there to, 
to suit our handling and our driving style. Always remember, loose is fast, and what that means is the back end is sliding out a bit. You're a bit better there, there's a bit more grip there, looks like on the exit. Okay, let's have a flying lap and see what we can do. We've got to beat a 22-2 is our target. That's our best time. Okay, we're looking okay here. Let's see what happens here. That's better on through there and still slightly running wide, but the grip was there to turn in. So we'll have to have another go and see what happens. Okay, let's have another run at this. See what happens here. We've got a bit more turn in here and be able to take that a little bit, little bit tighter. That's better. Still running wide, but held it this time. We've gone 122.3, so that wasn't an improvement, but let's have another go, because it wasn't the cleanest of laps. Let's carry a bit more speed through those first two corners, and our driving wasn't quite up to standard. Right, let's try here. We're going to run a bit wider and a bit tighter and see what happens. Are we going to run off again? Oh, just held it. It was slightly wide again. Okay, so it's a 122.0, so it's a small improvement, but we made a few mistakes on the lap, so that might, might, count, might account for that. Okay, probably what we should do now is, now that we think there's a bit more grip on the on, on the tyres and that was a slightly better run, it felt a bit better to, to drive, what we're going to do is now going to try that with some fresh tyres, I think. Okay, so we've got our fresh tyres now, we're going to leave the fuel the same, leave the pressures the same. Okay, so 19 seconds is the, is the fastest lap by Tunk, Tough Monkey there, that's uh, Craig Laws. And off we go. Remember, at any time you can adjust your settings by just tapping on the wrench or the spanner if you're in the UK button and on the right hand side and that will bring up a list of settings and you can adjust them very easily from there. Okay, so this is this is a bit better. That last corner was much better. Okay, not such a good line through there. That's probably more my driving rather than the actual uh, Part set up. Let's see how we do here. Okay, that's a decent line, and we're it feels much, much better. So 121.9. So we're getting faster now. If we could get these two corners right, we would be okay. We've run much wider there, but we carry a bit more speed. So let's see if that helps. Okay, we've run wide here. That's bad. That's bad. Okay. So that was a bad line through that first corner. Uh, sorry, the last corner. Um, but okay, we can have we can either have one more run at it. Maybe we'll do that, um, and then we'll go and see what we can do to improve this further. So last run, let's see what sort of time we can set. It may, may or may not be better as the tyres start to go off. Okay, that that seems reasonable. Um, so we're looking for a 121.9 was our was our best. Our target from the previous run was one was 22.0. So we want better than the 121.9, which we haven't done. Um, but the tyres were starting to wear, so maybe that would account for it, and our fuel level is quite low. So, I think that's okay. The cart felt okay. Um, it's an arrow, it's an old cart, it's one of the, 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 the first carts in TKM, so it's not one of the best carts to use. But it does give you an idea as to how to set up, and each cart will be different. So we'll have to go through and handle, look at how the carts handle, and they're all set up slightly differently, and you want different pressures for the carts. So let's go and talk about weight to see what we can do. Yeah, we can see the cart's not even in great condition either; it's not being looked after. Um, so what we're going to do is now we're going to go through and lighten the cart. The easiest way to do this, I've got no other upgrades to do, uh, is the fuel tanks. We're going to take off a little bit of weight with the fuel tank. 
and drop it down to 6 litres and that will take off 0.3 kilograms. Uh, and we'll probably speed this one up just for the purposes of the video. Now let's get that now and just go through. And the other thing we might do is go to our fitness and drop our driver, driver weight. We've not been racing very much, so the easiest way to get some weight off and improve our times is to, is to look at driver weight. But let's look at the engine first. We can't upgrade the engine. That's a shame. We could have used a bit more power to see what kind of time we could have set. Um, so that's uh, it's a bit frustrating. But I think we should definitely go and do fitness because fitness will go and help us with our driver weight and that will help us in the, in the races themselves. So here we go. Let's take off six kilograms. It's the most we can do. Um, but it's worth it. But let's see how much it is worth it. Back to solo practice. We always, always use solo practice to test tire pressures and times because the, the, the weather is con consistent. We look here at 17 degrees, 25% humidity, 911 bars. Um, we'll just put on some new tires. Probably fill up with some fuel here. We're going to go for the standard stock 90. That's the same fuel that we were using before. Um, obviously if it's fuller it's going to have more weight so that will be a disadvantage but we've already lost a bit of weight uh, with, the, with the driver fitness and also with the fuel tank. Okay let's have another go and see how the pressures feel now with a lighter cart because the carts feel totally different when they're heavy and light and that also affects the pressures that we want to use for the tyres. So again we're back with Maxa screens and you will want to do this for the super soft tyres and for the hard tyres, they will all have different pressures and different settings that are better for your car. Okay, already this feels better. We're picking up speed faster. Be a bit more careful, we have to adjust our lines through here, we run slightly wide. Okay, let's see what we can do. A uh, fast lap, we remember 121.8 was our target last time. Sorry, 8.95 it was. This feels smooth. Let's see how we do here. Can we pull the cart round? Yes, that's better. Oh, 121.6, that's not bad. Let's see if we can do better again. Oh, this feels better. The weight and the tire pressures now feel pretty good. Yes, we seem to get nice and neatly in there. We've run a bit wide close, if we can do any better than 121.6, we can't, 220, uh, 22.1, well, we can run a tighter line through here, let's try again, this final corner that's always tricky, there we are, that's good, oh 121.6 again, so, we started off with a 24 second lap, we got that down to a 22.2, and then a 22.0, and then a 21.9, and now we're at 21.6, and that's simply by adjusting the tyre pressures and the weight. So, tyres and weight are very, very important. Um, don't forget too, you'll need to adjust tyre pressures for the weather conditions. Um, but we'll talk about that in, a, in, a, in another video. Um, this is the tyre pressure basics video. We'll do an advanced video shortly after this. Okay, hopefully that helps you. Um, and we'll see you racing soon. Hopefully it's going to improve your times.